Hey Fernie, how's it going? Just wanted to shoot you a quick walk around virtual tour on this 2021 Yukon XL. Um, just to kind of show you how it looks like as well. I know I sent you the uh, online vehicle as well as the build sheet to this vehicle. This is the 6.2 liter 10 speed autom uh, automatic transmission. Um, all new redesign for this year for this Yukon. Um, as you can see, it matches most of our trucks. The front end, you do have the signature C-shaped headlight as well as your HID discharge lights in the middle there. You do also get your LED fog lights at the bottom with a lot of chroming on the sides. Biggest thing with the Yukon Denali or any of our Denali's is this honeychrome grill in the front. Very nice. Um, this does have HD surround vision. You can see the front camera is just underneath the GMC logo. Front parking sensors as well. Beautiful white as well as the 20 inch chrome wheels. You also have a couple cameras, one on each side of your side mirror. Inside the side mirror, you also have your blind spot monitoring. Denali badging on the side. Push to start, passive entry as well. You got the rear, rear camera as well as the rear parking sensors and the quad exhaust in the back. On the key here, it is push to start. You also have your controls for your trunk release and your glass release, as well as factory remote start. I'm gonna start off by opening the glass. So just the glass can open. Or if you would like, you can also get the whole trunk to open as well. These seats do fold flat, as well as the controls in the back here to kind of open them up. Oh, wrong one. Oh, sorry. I'm pressing them closed. <laughs> you do also have the option of closing the middle seats as well from there. Just gonna close off the trunk here. Move it on over to the inside on the back seats. You do have your rear entertainment system for rear media entertainment system, dual DVD screens on the back of the headrests, as well as your climate control options in the back, as well as the heated rear seats. These two pilot seats in the back are heated and you have the option to plug in some USB type C's and HDMI cords on the bottom there. You'll see a 110 volt plug as well, just to kind of plug in your electronics or anything else you'd like to plug in there. Moving on into the front. You do have your updated Bose sound system, as well as your memory seating, power windows, power door locks, as well as your power folding mirrors. I'll turn this vehicle on for you. Let's turn the radio off here. On this side, you do have your heads up display controls, as well as your parking sensors, lane departure warnings, and all that stuff, as well as your electronic parking brake. Bottom here, you have your two-wheel, four-wheel drive control as well as your light controls down here. Moving on to the steering wheel, you got your heated seats, heated seats, cooled seats, as well as the heated steering wheel, forward collision alert, and you got your cruise control options. Electronic gear shifter. I'm going to switch into reverse so you can see the full 360 camera. There's quite a few different ways and to kind of view the 360 camera, whether you want hitch view, whether you want front tires, rear tires, or you want your front as well. Dual zone climate control for driver and passenger as well as control for the rear as well here. You can see your heated and cooled seats options as well. Biggest thing is you get your much bigger wireless charging pad right in the center here. You can drop your phone and let it charge. It does also have navigation as well as Apple CarPlay and Android Auto and that is wireless. You are able to connect your phone wirelessly to the Bluetooth and you'll also be able to use Android Auto or Apple CarPlay. You have all your climate control settings as well, full touch screen, as well as control for your rear media entertainment system. The vehicle also comes with a full panoramic sunroof as well. One of the nicest things here, you do have your power tilt and slide as well as your trunk latch control and your middle seat controls as well to kind of close them. One of the coolest things that you will see in this vehicle is a power sliding console. So the center console right here can be pushed back with the push of this button. So I'm just going to do that and show you this video. That kind of goes to the back, gives you some cup holders in the back as well as some hidden storage here. Inside this hidden storage, you also have an extra compartment to put some valuables. So 
close that up. And you still have full access to the inside as well. If you have any questions, feel free to let me know. Last thing I wanted to show you, you can see the heads up display right up front. I know it's a little tight right now. There's a white vehicle in front of us, but you were able to see that. Thanks so much. Enjoy this video.